Hi Libra, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Libra, this is going to be your Tree of Life Oracle reading. It is, and we're going to set it down uh, in the format of a love reading. And uh, yeah, let's see what happens. We're also going to do the Gypsy Spread, but the Gypsy Spread will be completed in the extended reading, right? We don't want this to turn into an hour. No, we don't. Uh, let's see what we have, though, for you and your person. And uh, and then the extended reading will also be a tarot spread uh, about them as well. Yeah. So let's see what we have. And uh, in the recent past, Libra could be your current energy, too. The pride card. Okay. And the pride card, uh, it can talk about being pride, but uh, proud, but typically it talks about too much pride and arrogance. It does. This could be somebody else, so this could be your person's energy, right? And then we have the sorrow card. Yeah, this is you... I feel like you are dealing, you could have got these cards before, I feel like, oh, gee. Uh, haven't even done that many of these Tree of Life Oracle readings, no, but it's possible you had this before. You could be, like, kind of dealing with sorrow right now because of somebody who had way too much pride and arrogance. Yeah, that can bring a lot of pain. Uh, the skeleton is your challenge. I feel like you're afraid somebody, or what's challenging is that somebody's not going to protect this. Yeah, because they are full of their pride, their dumb ego. Yeah, no offense for uh, for cross-watchers, but, you know, pride is about, you know, it can be about uh, somebody who, like, lives, they just, everything is about their ego, right? And uh, ego is usually when you make uh, decisions and things like that based on how great you think you are, or I'm never wrong, or, uh, you know, uh, I'm the king, right? Or I'm the queen, that kind of, you know, energy, right? We need a certain amount of ego, though we do, because when somebody is doing something wrong or, you know, there are so many uh, injustices, that's when we say, I'm proud of myself and I want to fight for this, right? Like, I want, you know, justice. And this is what we need in this country. We need people to wake up and uh, pay attention that they are losing their liberty. So let's see what else we have. The applause card. Don't make any comments on that, you guys, because that is the truth. If you do the investigating, if it's not in your yard, I'm, I'm really happy. If it's not in your neighborhood. Uh, but please don't comment on that. Let's look at this reading, though, instead, right, Libra? The applause card is what you are kind of uh, fearing as well. You're fearing an ending. Applause. The applause card talks about, you know, when, when something is over, like when we're watching a play, right, Act 3, uh, the final act, we applause, uh, right? Or we applaud, rather. So this is what you're fearing or doubting. I feel like you're afraid something's going to end here. You want the gambler. Maybe you want to take a chance, but you're afraid that there's going to be an ending, right? And, uh, yeah, you want you want to take a chance on somebody, but I feel like you could be, you know, there's some type of concern here that, it's not protected, mm -hmm. or it could just end. So, yeah, this is, it's like you kind of want to be the fool here, right, to jump off the cliff and take a chance. And we have the Passover for your person, the seed, and their challenge is the man of blood. So they could be married to somebody, Libra, or maybe they are your husband, right? And we have the disciple, that's what they want, and the advisor is what they're afraid of. This person is trying to learn something, and they could be afraid of what they're going to hear, or they could be afraid to take somebody's advice uh, with the disciple and the advisor. And uh, maybe you're married to them, and you're afraid they're not going to protect your marriage, something like that. You could be dealing with somebody who is super prideful, possible. And the reading could be switched, though. It can. Uh, wow. Let's see what we have for you, Libra. Let's look at the skeleton in the challenge. It is the Six of Wands. Yeah, this is your challenge to have victory, but you're afraid that they won't protect it, most likely, or it'll be like... Uh, yeah, let's see what else we have. And we have uh, the Magician. This is your challenge. could be Aries. But I feel like you feel like you can't manifest something because it won't be protected. That's typically what this skeleton is about, protection. The way the bones or, you know, the frame, our frames, uh, our skeletal frames protect our organs, right? And the gambler is what you want, let's see, with the chariot card. You want to take a chance for victory. Maybe you want uh, cancer. Maybe you're hoping for a cancerian. Let's look at the applause while you are fearing it. Six of swords. Yeah, see, this is leaving. You're afraid that there's going to be some type of an ending or you're, you know, 
uh, maybe you're doubting the situation and it will end up in an ending or it will end. Mm -hmm. You could be afraid to leave somebody here too. You could. It's a possibility here. You might be afraid to leave them. Um, for whatever reason, right? For any of these reasons I have said. Maybe you're married to them. and So let's see. Uh, in the recent past, for your person, is the Passover. It doesn't always have to be married. Marriage could be just, you know, uh, like some type of a serious union. And then we have the Empress. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the Passover. Somebody could have been sacrificed. Because uh, that's what the Passover was. It was about uh, putting the the blood of a sacrificial lamb on the door to let God know, please come and save us uh, from slavery. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what's going on right now, but people don't want to really face it. So let's see what we have, that they are coming in for that. Yeah, that's what they want, <clears throat> us to have nothing. So let's see here, uh, the Empress... So I'm going to quit that, but if you guys want that uh, that email, I mean that link to that documentary, uh, and there's another one that's just a half hour long, you just ask me for that at create898 at Proton Mail. So let's stick with this now, um, and the Empress is here with the Passover. So let's look at the Passover, uh, because I am going to look it up here, you guys. Yeah, this is be the, the Passover uh, was when... This was when uh, the Israelites wanted to be, you know, rescued from Egypt, from the slavery, right? And God told them, you know, you have to show me that you are loyal to me and that I, I am your God and I will come and save you. So he said, the way you will show me your loyalty is you, you put the blood of a slain lamb on your door and I will know it is you so I can go to your house and rescue you. Yeah. So let's look here at uh, this Passover card. Uh, a sign marked in the blood of a lamb protected the Israelites when God smote down all the firstborn in Egypt. Allowed by God to remain as slaves, the Israelites were exempted from his awful wrath by their faith because they knew him as the one and true God, and this is what separated them from other men. Mm -hmm. A spiritual issue is arising for you. Okay, this is your person's energy. This is, they're going through an awakening, so to speak. Yeah, they are. This is why they want the disciple and the advisor is their fear. They want to learn something. Maybe they want to teach something, but I highly doubt it. They want to learn something and they are fearing what they will learn, the advisor. I feel like that's it. Or they're, you know, something like that. And the seed, here they are planting a seed. In the recent past, they were... Uh, you know, I feel like they were, a spiritual issue was kind of arising. It could concern uh, the belief you were brought up in or your cultural background. You may need to find a way to keep faith with the essence of that while also embracing a new understanding and a wider perspective in the world. This could be that your person was kind of in this energy, uh, Libra, where they kind of believe that, you know, men, it's possible here. This is one scenario with this pride and sorrow card that is, I feel like that is, I feel like the pride is bringing you sorrow. But I feel like in, you know, it could be the reverse, the whole reading. But my point is this person might have been Mr. Macho, kind of, right? Where, or Mrs. Macho, where they thought they were so great. I feel like they were going through a spiritual awakening right now. It's underneath the pride card, which is ego, really. I feel like they are going through uh, an awakening. Keep your own counsel. Like, this is like... Keep your own counsel means like trust yourself unless you are sure of the person you are speaking to. So they could be afraid here to, yeah, seek advice from somebody else, but they want to learn something. Maybe they don't want anybody to know their business, what they're doing. This person is going through an awakening. That's what the Passover is. Really interesting. Gratitude, giving thanks for safe passage, protecting yourself and others, showing up with the Empress, I feel like they are going through, and this could be you, Libra, because this is one of your, this is, uh, you do rule this card, yeah, you do, uh, the Empress also, Taurus does, and they have the seed that they are planting uh, with the, speaking of Taurus, with the Queen of Pentacles, this could be Taurus right here, your person might be Taurus, they could be uh, Virgo or Capricorn, um, the seed, they look like they're planting a seed. They're going through an awakening. That's what they are doing here. It is about planting the seed that they have already planted with you, I believe. 
and the page of wands. Yeah, so this person, they're they're on a new path and they have gone through an a spirit spiritual awakening. Their challenge those that they're a family man, man of blood, four of pentacles. Their challenge could be to hold on to family money, maybe between them and their, you know, their spouse. But the man of blood is, you know, it's typically a family man. Maybe this is a grandfather, you know, with leaving a legacy or an inheritance, but this is typically like a husband. Uh, the disciple showing up with the page of pentacles reversed. This is uh, what they're hoping for. They're hoping to have like something new and they're hoping to maybe learn. They could be her hoping to possibly really understand this situation and you know what they want a new beginning and the advisor is what they fear with the mm -hmm, knight of wands i feel like they're afraid possibly that their own advice because the advisor means uh you know keep your own counsel like don't listen to other people they could be afraid of their own advice this person is not sure that's what this is yeah, this is why they have the disciple and the advisor. They're in this insecure, like, what do I do? I don't know if I do that, you know. Uh, they don't know, and they want to learn, and they want to understand, uh, but they don't, uh, you know, they're not sure of their, their actions here. But they want a new beginning. They do. Ten of Swords, this is what they want. <laughs> they want an ending. So we're going to end this, and let's look at the, uh, let's look at the Gypsy spread. Yeah, where this person really wants to learn. Yeah, they do. Um, and they have gone through an awakening here, Libra. They really have. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person was prideful and immature in the recent past, and it brought a lot of sorrow. Yeah, it did. So let's see. And we're going to put these cards uh, away. We are. And we're just going to put them right here. And then do this. That way we can kind of refer to them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have for you and your person, Taurus. I mean, Libra. I beg your pardon. So we just saw the Queen of Pentacles. This could be my bad. Let's see what we got. This could be your person, right? Let's see what we have for you, uh, Libra, and your person. And the present situation is going to be, it is the gift. Just looking at the uh, the uh, the symbology on this card, and the Lord card is in the recent past unfolding as the misfortune. See, there's an ending here. This could be bad news, but I feel like it is your person coming forward and ending their own situation. The misfortune card could be like uh, it can uh, be kind of like um, like the tower. Mm -hmm. Let's see what the French word is. Mature. It means like mature. I feel like it does. M a t h e u r. You know, I'm not sure if that means uh, maturity. I feel like it does though in uh, in French. And then we have you know in in Italian this is disgrazia, disgrazia, and in Spanish it is disgracia. Yeah, which is disgrace, uh, which is you know can speak of an ending. And they're showing the fire, and you know the firemen are there to put the fire out, and the building is falling. People are actually falling out of this building and uh, like the tower. Let's see what we have. The answer here, the obstacle, I beg your pardon, is the child. So the obstacle is a new beginning. That's what that is. It could be a child, though, because your person might be married. In their challenge was uh, the blood the blood, blood man, uh, man of blood. Okay, same thing. Wedding card is going to be the answer. This is a commitment, not an answer, the outcome. This is a commitment. This is going to end up in a commitment. Your person is, this is, they're going through a, a period of maturity and they're waking up. Yeah, it's really interesting. They're going through, uh, they're going through an awakening with the Passover. They are. So we're going to continue this in the extended uh, Libra. And we're going to see also, we're going to complete this gypsy spread. We're also going to see the issues at hand, how this person feels about you. We're going to see how they see the situation, what's on their mind, their near future, what you may not know about them, or what they could be hiding, and their outcome. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, you guys, for uh, listening here. Uh, if you guys want that link, just uh, <coughs> back up the video, to, or you can just send me an email to create898 at protonmail.com. Thank you so much. God bless everybody, uh, whoever you guys are, right? Yeah. 
Uh, we're all here. We're all the same. We all need to eat, sleep. We all need our liberties. Thanks so much.